Hey guys, Viral Gaming here. We're going to be starting a Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Let's Play. I know it's another Let's Play that I just started and I got the idea from it today. I know I'm actually going to be able to do this one completely because I know that my computer's not going to crap out when I record this. But uh, we'll see how it goes. It's probably one of my favorite games from like my childhood. Well, other than Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is my favorite game ever. And then this is like shortly right after it. I should actually be playing Major or, uh, Ocarina of Time before this one. But it's it's kind of like different in story wise. It doesn't connect too much to the first Zelda game. But uh, we'll get started and see how this goes. And by the way, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller as the controller plug-in, so it's going to be a little bit different. I had to sync the buttons to like weird buttons, like the start and select buttons on the Xbox controllers are uh, some of the C buttons. So, I'm hoping that nothing really messes up with those. And then, uh, would you, if you guys want me to read the uh, little text right here when uh, we start recording or if you want me to read the text of the people if you don't feel like reading it I'll, uh, I'll do that if you guys want just leave a comment or send me a message or something like that I'll go ahead and do that but anyways this game um, I guess it takes place after the Ocarina of Time game but it's not really directly tied in he's uh, well in some points, I guess it is, because he's searching for uh, Navi. Um, if no one knows what Navi is, Navi is his fairy that was in the first game with him, and he's desperately trying to find Navi and stuff like that. So that's basically how this game starts, and then you can see there's two fairies, Tattle and... I don't remember what the other one is. It's Tattle and... something else. But we'll find out in a minute. Remember as a kid, Skull Kid's face, like the mask, used to scare me a lot. Like I've had nightmares about that, but now it's just—it's a mask. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but um, this game, I've I've replayed this game about thirty or forty times because I love this game that much. Um, Another Zelda game I replayed a lot is uh, Wind Waker because I loved the art style in that game and stuff like that. Oh, Tail is the other one. Tail, tail. There we go. Yeah. And it's funny because I find it, it funny that Tail being the girl has blue writing and Tail being the guy has pink writing or yeah, pinkish purple. And I think it's just because that's how they're colored. But I, mean, I don't really care about that. But I thought it was funny. Steals your horse. Link is one brave SOB because he's getting dragged by this horse here. I usually do this because you get, you get money at the beginning. I don't know if you lose it when you start, but... Um, sure. 
But I always used to say, like, I was coming to the ground. I was just trying to make sure that I could use it. And I like, in this game, um, they kind of changed things like adolescence. He's come of age where he's supposed to be more responsible. Like, it, it's cool because you can tell just from, like, that little, those little flips he was doing. I know, I, I remember I was watching in, uh, another Let's Player talk about it. And he explained, like, literally the same thing. He said that, like, he's, he's come of age, he's more mature, and you can see it in, like, subtle things that he does throughout this game. Breaks Link's legs. Crap. <laughs> yeah, see that? I like that would give me nightmares. Just always freak me out as a kid. <laughs> Where'd you take my horse? Oh, that is like really bright. It's really, really hard to see. You can barely see the animation of what's happening. That's a big deck. It took me like 20 minutes just to get out of this room. I didn't know what I was doing. And honestly, it's weird. I don't know why Tail didn't just wait there because. said small kid, skull kid ran off. Okay. Yep. Hey, what do you want, Ted? realize that the, uh, the game controls for looking are inverted and I'm used to playing it with like a standard Get some uh, Deku nuts flying you can drop them Oh, 
Leute. As if I didn't know that already. I need to turn down the brightness in the game because it's making it look like it, uh. Alright, and that sequence, that little sequence that we just had to go to go to come about 10 minutes. And then I remember, like, this dude in here getting that news too, like, just the way he's like, he was just freaked me out. And I wasn't sure, I've heard rumors of this game being remade on like the Wii U or uh, 3DS, and if it does, that'll be awesome. This is like one of my favorite Zelda games. People say, kind of say this game is the odd one out though, because it's, it's nothing like a, any kind of Zelda series has done like, with the whole mask system or like the... Not really pertaining to like Hyrule, yeah. I can't remember what place this is called. I was about to be an idiot and say Tamriel, but I was like, that's Skyrim or Elder Scrolls. Now we are in clock time. Dawn of the first day. <laughs> and I have a headache already. <laughs> Remember every, like, what you had to do to get all the masks in this game was so tedious. Like, um, I remember uh, trying to get all the power-ups, like all the magic power-ups, by uh, getting all the fairies in each of the temples. And if you didn't have the great fairy mask, you literally, it was super hard to find them. So uh, that's going to be one of the first things I'm going to try to use the great fairy's mask. And then this dog hates the crap out of me. Thank you, I remember. First thing we gotta go do is we gotta go get into the bombers group. But first, we have to get magic because we have to explode a bubble. Oh boy. Nothing of these from there. I actually should have to go on. Even though this is like a really, really old game, it's still really, really enjoyable. And so is Ocarina of Time, I think that's why they, uh, they remade it. Uh, it's not gonna work, man, you're just spitting spitballs. Bubbles are what it's like. Spit bubbles. I think... Oh no, the great thing. I don't know. Oh, yeah, so I have to get one. Before I, uh, I have to get my dog. The laundry place. Or whatever. Remember that this game had a really good soundtrack to it. So did the first. Or so did the first time. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm like a nut for video game music, especially in my heart. Oh god, it's this guy. 
Remember these things used to give me so much trouble in the past because I didn't know what to do with them. I didn't know you were supposed to give things beads to continue to use their pads. But if you wanted to keep using it, get after day, you could only get all the pads again one more time. And let's, uh, let's keep track of me saying tedious twice. Keep it tedious. Get in the box. And then, um, you get, you get a mask later. It's called the Don Carlos mask. You can uh, talk to these frogs and the people who cut pieces. Alright, so I got one fairy. And honestly, you'll need to go get a, uh, a bead from... I can't remember who it is. But you'll need to get a moon's tear from the moon and then give it to him. And then he'll, he'll leave and give you the bead and then you can use it to get up to the heart piece. And you'll need to, you'll need to go up there at uh, the, the final day uh, to go have your match with Skull Tour. And I remember this scene so well. When, uh, whenever you get the, the fairy, Link would always look like he would get sick. Like he would just like puke all over. Just watch. Did you know it was said in the uh, Japanese version of the game, they made her like naked and uh, it like they couldn't put that out in game. So they had to like give her clothes. Which was weird. Technically not close, he just binds. <laughs> but look, watch, he looks like he gets sick. Like it turns green and he's like, Ugh! like he starts shaking and it's like, <gasps> so he just like puking in the water. Gives it a hurrah. Bubble blasts. Can shoot magic power decreases. Go to the observatory, which is really easy to get to. Like literally, you can do I think most of the stuff in the first day. Not even like it's very very easy. Okay, so these ones. I remember these guys gave me so much trouble too because I didn't know where they were or how to get them. And then he falls on his butt. Because I know there's one right over there. That's the leader. I usually do this. Right? Okay, you can run away from you too. Right? If you shoot him with a bubble. And then run at him. Yeah. Like literally everybody hates me. I think it's really easy, I don't see why people have a problem with that. And then the last two are over in the courtyard, I think. And I think later in the game if you get the mailman's hat, like as a mask, you can use it to check mailboxes and then mailboxes will have like random items in them. Like you could have potions or currency or kind of what's he like? I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Alright, one more. So I think the order was like one, four, 
three, two, five. Could it be? Sometimes the bubbles move really slow, so it's hard to kill that. Like, you know, the bubble, but it pops up more magic in And it's a good night at first day. You're gonna see a black screen and then I the first day. I like how she just said that. She doesn't move the stage, you get that. Sorry if you guys wanted to read any of that, I was just, I was just telling you about that. Why are you crying? Is he gonna smash your face into the town? Don't you be rubbing your butt at me. Snap it. Kinda reminds me of Gollum from Lord of the Rings. But speaking of Gollum, me and Aaron went to go see The Hobbit last night for the midnight release. And it was really good. I suggest going to see that. It was a really, really good movie. I think she's actually seeing it again. I don't know. I, I usually watch movies once and then I'm good. But uh, I do. I recommend going and seeing it. I'm pretty sure Aaron does too because she went to college twice. But uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it looks like Gollum has a poop scene in one. Like he looks like he's trying to take a poop. I'm not kidding. <laughs> right, let's get back. Is the spider back? No. Go away, fish. Alright, so we go where this coke it is. Alright. And then a really good thing is, is if you want to try building up, um, like rupees when you're when you're done with uh, getting the moons tier and everything, I like, gotta be like the easiest way or the best way to do it. I have not put anything on my hotbar yet, so I'm gonna do that. So we got 
that one, and then there. No. I'm not gonna really erase the C buttons. Like, I'm really just making it. Why, hello? You ever notice if it looks up in the sky, there's only like one orange star up there? I wonder if that has any meaning. That there's an orange star in the sky. So there's like blue ones and stuff. Like, Ow! You dumb dog. Why would you do that? You can't get me now. I'm in my pad. But if you look up in the sky, there's just that one orange, orange star right there, or a little small rectangle. I wonder if it means anything. If you're supposed to, I can see up your nose, and you need to clean your teeth. What? Remember, you're a decky, so why don't you try using the deck? What the? No, it, no. Come on, come on, Tad. Come on, girl. And uh, man, you missed the game, dog. Oh, oh, I was gonna say, I don't think I'm able to make that yet. I like how, the, look at this guy. He just sits there, like, doing this weird thing. Neck roll, face open. Fuck! <laughs> This that thing just looks very surprised. Hey, it's way off. Is there? A, I, oh, I guess one there's like a fairy over here. Or something. All right, but for the time being, uh, we should try to accumulate. I I wonder if I can actually get up to the... Nah, you might be human to get up there. It's up the uh, ramp right here. And with that hard piece in the tree. Yeah, for sure. Just yet. Nope. Oh, I did I? I remember there's a... Uh, there's this thing too. If you come over here and use the lens of truth. Right here. There is a... Um, is it okay? I can't remember what it's, what it's called. Kajit? Alright, but anyways, this is what I would do a long time ago when I wanted to accumulate enough rubies that good on this hole. And there's like a mini game you play down here with Becky Shrubs. And you have to land on these platforms, which was a pain in the butt. I remember, like, I lost so many times here. What did you say? It's time to change the setup. Go. Yeah, it's my time, so I don't think they let you play at night. Up, up, and away. My tree. That was my tree. I'm the king of here. I need to get some past the day when I get my own Well, you already have it. I don't have it just yet. I guess we're tired, dude. Yes, I do. I have some of these. Talk about these. Alright. And then, even if you uh, set back time, the rubies will still be there. I don't know, what do you say? I say rupee, like rupee. I know I've, I've heard other people say rubies. Stuff like that. So. 
an abundance to do in town if you don't have these powers of my collection in the to wait until like today to go to <coughs> These zones are like don't replenish their rupees. So you turn up so well. Why did I take the D out? It just goes right through his like mouth, face hole, whatever. I think I am going to end the video here, and we'll continue on dawn of the second day when we get to the next playthrough. I'm actually going to wait for the time to run out. You can see that the screen will get smaller, and then we're going to get interesting to the movies. And it's on the second day. 48 hours remain. And you'll notice, like, when you go around, something's changed here. But I'll get to that next video. See you guys later.